Hello, this is Pranodra from class 10. So, uh, coaching in RCT IIT Academy, and I got a seminar on the topic Give Money and a Colorful World. So, topics to be covered the human eye, power of accommodation, defects of vision, refraction to prism, dispersion of white light by glass prism, apathy refraction, and scattering of light. So, our, next, uh, our first topic is the human eye. The human eye consists of ciliary muscles, cornea, iris, ciliary muscles, vitreous over, retina, optic nerve, and apple stigma. Our second topic, power of accommodation. The ability to adjust the focal length is known as power of accommodation. So, defects of vision and their correction. There are three mainly common refractive uh, defects. They are myopia, hypermetropia, and presbyopia. So, first of subtopic, myopia. The myopia is also known as near sightedness. A person suffering from myopia cannot, uh, cannot see the distance of the clearly. Meaning that he can only see near objects and the distant object will be blurry for her. The causes are elongation of eyeball, excessive curvature of eyelids. The correction is use of concave lens. So this is the fourth point of myopic eye, the image formation in myopic eye and correction of myopia. So this is concave lens. Hypermetropia is also known as sparsightedness. A person suffering from hypermetropia cannot see the near objects, meaning that he can only see the distant object and near objects will be blurred for him. The causes are smaller size of eyeball and lesser the curvature of eyelids. The correction is use of convex lens. So, this is the near point of hypermetropic eye, the image formation of hypermetropic eye, and the correction of hypermetropic eye. Presbyopia. Presbyopia is also known as old age eye, in which the focal, the curvature of the focal length decreases. So the near point of the uh, near point of the eye gradually decreases away. The correction is use of bifocal lens. Bifocal lens is a mixture of concave and convex lens. So our third topic is refraction through light, uh, refraction of light through uh, prism. So here P and E are the incident ray, E and F are, are the refracted ray, and F and S is the uh, emergent ray. Uh, angle A is angle of angle of prism, angle D is angle of depression, angle E is angle of emergent, and angle I is angle of incident. Our first topic is dispersion of white light by glass prism. So the prism has powder split the uh, white colors into seven different colors. They split the uh, white color into uh, the acronym known as Sujia, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. It's uh, the band of uh, colored components. The band of colored components of light beam is called spectrum. The rainbow's natural spectrum appears in the sky after rain shower. The plenty droplets of water acts like small prism and will show the future. So, this is the formation of future uh, colors in prism. This is a rainbow formation in which the sunlight has. Uh, sunlight uh, reflects at the, uh, the water droplet and the water, uh, water droplet, uh, uh, I mean the light undergoes a total internal reflection and it gives out the rainbow effect. So, atmosphere refraction is so stopped. The atmosphere refraction is a deviation of light or the other electromagnetic wave from a straight line as it passes through an atmosphere due to vibration in. Variation, sorry, variation in air density as function of height. So, application of atmospheric refraction. The first one is twinkling of stars. So, twinkling of stars is due to atmospheric refraction. So, the starlight entering the uh, Earth's atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously and it forms two positions actual and apparent position. The apparent position is only visible to our eyes. So, this is the atmosphere refraction of stars. So here is the atmosphere. So when the star is coming from uh, the star, it undergoes a uh, refraction, I mean, refraction in the atmosphere and forms apparent motion and the star's motion. For the observer, the apparent motion is only visible.
So this is second application of atmospheric interaction, which is advanced sunrise and delayed sunset. The, the sunrise is visible to us two minutes before the actual sunrise and about two minutes after the actual sunset because of atmospheric interaction. The apparent position of the uh, uh, the apparent of flattening the sun's disk is also an example of this, this same phenomenon. So here is the diagram of uh, uh, advanced sunrise and delayed sunset. So this is the horizon uh, and this is the true position. When the, when the sun's light is coming from here, it for, uh, as the atmosphere uh, it gets refracted and falls in apparent position. This shows that advanced sunrise. So some topic is scattered of light. The deviation of uh, deviation of light ray from straight path. Uh, due to irregularities in the uh, propagating medium or the particles in the surrounding medium is said to be scattering. So the first application of uh, scattering of light is tidal effect. Tidal effect can be seen in dark room with a hole in the roof or in dense forest. So Earth's atmosphere is a heterogeneous mixture of uh, minute particles. So minute particles like snow, water droplets, fog etc. When a beam of light strikes in such a fine particle, the path of the beam becomes visible. The, the light reaches us after being reflected diffusely by these particles. The phenomenon of scattered of light by the colloidal particles give rise to tidal effect. So now, let's also questions. So, name the part of the eye that helps in changing the focal length. So, obviously, it's ciliary muscle. So the name of the particle that I that helps you change the focal length is obviously serial muscles in the parts. The second question: A boy is advised to wear convex lens. Here they are given convex lens, and name the defect which is suffering from. So a person, if a person is wearing convex lens, so absolutely he is suffering from hypermetropia. So our final question: The near point of the eye of a person is 50 centimeter. Find the nature and the power of these lenses required by the person to enable you to see objects placed at 25 cm. So from the given values we got Q is equal to minus 25 and V is equal to minus 50. But by using the lens for plugging in, 1, 1 by F is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U, we get F is equal to 50 cm. Yes. And the power which is in centimeter, so it will be 100 by F and 100 by focal length, which is centimeter, so it will be 100 by 50 and I got plus 2 diameter. So the power is plus 2 diameter and you need to use a convex lens. So thank you.